Hi, on today's show, we're gonna share with you a new video from Audio Control. That's right, today we're gonna talk about one of the many configurations you can do on an LC7i. So stay tuned. If you watched the previous video we did, and we talked about how to take an LC7i and hook it up three-way active uh, from a factory amplifier so that you could sum it all together for one channel, that was one option that this, is cap this LC7i is capable of doing. Today we're going to talk about how to do two-channel summing as well as a sub-input. Now, the reason that makes... Okay, what do you mean? Right? What are you okay, talking what about? are you talking about? Okay, so let's say you have one of these cool factory amplifiers, mm -hmm. and it is a mid range yes. that plays pretty much all the way down, you know, down in like 80 hertz, 80. okay? Okay. Which is low enough for most mid range. So if you're going to put a high end set of mid range in there and it plays down to 80 hertz or it plays down to 60 hertz, you're generally pretty good. Uh, and you have a tweeter. Yes. Now, this is very common in, let's say, a Ford F 150 that has a Sony system. Ooh. Okay, it's going to have a tweeter or a tweeter that's yeah. active on its own channel and a mid bass that's active on its own channel and it has its own subwoofer output. Okay. Uh, now, we really don't need to bring the subwoofer back into the system because it's, it's playing down low enough that's going to give us the mid bass we want and the aftermarket driver we're putting in. Plus, we'd like to maintain some form of uh, subwoofer control. Right. Okay. Or whatever. Pick a reason. I don't know. I don't have all the reasons. Okay. I don't have all the questions. Now, if you want to know more about, and then, 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 if you want to know more about the LC7i as far as all the little, in, check out the video we did on the three-way. Uh, we go to in depth on that. We're gonna fast forward this along so we're not here all night. Um, okay. So what we're gonna have today is we're gonna take channels. We're gonna use channel one or main and channel two. Uh, is going to be our mid bass. This is going to be our tweeter. And then channel three is going to be our sub. Okay. We're going to use the RTA to give you a visual representation of what is happening. All right. So as we said before, we have highs, we have mid, we have sub, we have the cool unit. We have to do some internals. Let's go ahead and unplug it. Let's pop the top. There's four screws to get the top off. Let's go ahead and remove it. All right. So what do we want to do today? We want to the jumper one here, which is going to sum channel two to channel one, we want to go ahead and make that, move it. Then over here we have the subwoofer, we don't want to touch that. Then we also want to turn off, so we're going to move the jumper here for the auto mode because we don't need channel two to feed into channel three. So we make those three adjustments, back to work. Put the top back on. Plug the power back in. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. We're running a pink noise CD. Let's see what the tweeter looks like. All right, so clear enough. This side of the meter is highs, this side of the meter is lows, just in case you didn't know. It's all right. <laughs> um, we got right here, clearly got a lot of treble. Let's take a look at the mid-range. All right, so there we go. We have no, no tweeter over here, and it's playing down pretty far. All right, so we got a lot of mid-bass happening. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the subwoofer, and boom, clearly just a sub-channel, which is fine because all this channel is going to do is power a subwoofer. All right, so now let's see what that looks like on the unit. All right, so here we go. We have our tweeter. We have our mid-range. We can use the input, I'm sorry, the output levels to adjust. Mm -hmm. We can bring up the mid-range a little bit, bring up the tweeter. All right. Maybe bring down the mid range a little bit. Okay, so now what we have is we have a pretty decent looking non EQ'd signal. So we've factored our tweeter back in. We have our mid range back in. Now obviously, there's a little dip here that we might be able to, to adjust out with the tone controls on the radio. And if not, we can always add in an EQ. All right. So that'll play well for our new separate system we're putting up front. Let's go over here and take a look at the sub portion. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have our sub. Obviously, it needs some gain. So we'll go ahead and gain that up a bit. We're doing OK. Our maximized light hasn't come on, so we're not distorting yet. Of course, it all depends on what we have the volume of the radio turned at. Right. But 
All right, so now it has AccuBase. And the reason why we wanted to hook it up this way is so that AccuBase isn't coming out of channel one. We just want it to come out of the sub-channel. All right, so now we can turn this on, turn up AccuBase, give it a little more gain. As you can see, we get a bump there. Now, if you really want to learn how to use AccuBase, check out our video on the LC2i that we talk in depthly on how to set up AccuBase and what it actually does. All right, guys, so in this scenario, we took a tweeter and a mid-range, combined them into one usable channel mm -hmm. so that we could go ahead and power our new separates. Uh, we took the sub channel, we kept it on its own so that we can use AccuBase just to affect the subwoofer. I don't know, works pretty That's well. awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Remember people, ears, it's all about the ears. And if you do want to pick one of these up, it's called the PPA3. Okay. All right. Well, we have one more of these to do, so stay tuned if you're interested. If you want to learn more about the product, like I said, you can go back and watch the first video we did. It's the three-way system on the LC7i. This is the two-way plus sub setup. Yep. Do stay tuned for questions? the next ones. Yes, by all means, your turn. Yeah, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask, uh, and we'll be back to you as soon as we can. Right. And you can, you, find us on you, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Hot damn. Keep watching. We love you. Yeah. yeah. I don't know.